national political scenario has been changing very fast. You may rest assured that diminishing effect of Modi ji has already been set in across the nation. Those so-called harmat who were nurtured and uh, I mean, nourished by the CPM party, as was alleged at that time by the Mamda Banerjee herself, has become the damad of the TMC party. There is no doubt that the late parties were happened to be the regimented organizations. So, as a novice, it was a stupendous task for me to contest the elections as well as winning the elections by defeating the late parties. Given the poor political and organizational infrastructure of the Congress party. But now the situation has undergone a diametrically opposite. That is, the entire political scenario has been lumpenized. This is a new political phenomena being emerged in West Bengal. That is, lumpenization of politics. That means, political lumpenization. In addition to other, I mean, very notorious features of West Bengal, such as atrocities, violence, etc. Et 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 that is also, uh, we dealt with atrocities and violence against the left regime. This time also, the same situations we are facing, but the mode has been changed. To those days, there was some political space was existed so that we could have maneuvered ourselves. But now, the political maneuvering space has been shrinked much to the detriment of any political party any denomination also. So, this is the, I mean, this is the change that I have been observing. That time also, against a regimented party like CPM, it was a difficult task to rest upon the seat. Now, my tax is quite different. I have to retain my seat. 1999, it was supposed to be a contest for resting upon the seat from the clutch of CPM, I mean late parties. But now, my fight is to retain the reigning seat of Congress party. Uh, uh, in your experience, I mean this present situation which you have spoken about, how do you think that Congress and left, uh, we, uh, how do you expect we do in Bengal and nationally, how do you see the picture as a... See, I do not, not know the national implication of late parties. 
and Congress parties. That is a different kettle of fish. But one thing is quite clear that both the Congress party and late parties, we have never indulged in a communal politics in so far as Indian politics is concerned, we have never indulged in such kind of sectarian communal politics. And to that point, since the day one, there was a no ideological difference. Basically, there is a fundamental ideological difference between Congress and late because left of the center thought is very much existing in the Congress party's organization. So, uh, history suggests that left and Congress can make hands together. Here in Bengal, our AIC leadership has not forged an alliance with the late party. It was a regional, especially the state phenomena. In the state of West Bengal, both late parties and Congress are the victims of the TMC-led violence and atrocities. Practically, we are the persecuted tribe in West Bengal. So, we are sailing on the same boat. So, pragmatically, what I can say that the situations have warranted us to have an, I mean, not political alliance per se, but some sorts of seat adjustments which may be purportedly or ostensibly may call the electoral alliance in order to continue our political relevance and emergence afresh. National political scenario has been changing very fast. You may rest assured that diminishing effect of Modiji has already been set in across the nation. Share market has been started crashing and the entire uh, industrial community also, they are feeling that this time something could be happened in the country. Because day after day, phase after phase, Modi's fate is going to be challenged very hardly. Modi cannot say that it's a cakewalking for Narendra Modi ji for the third term. No, no, no. No, no, no. Already Modi ji has stopped to, I mean, make such kind of arrogance. No. Modi has started himself restraining from this kind of hype and hoopla which was earlier observed by us. But uh, he is also a little bit ruffled and rattled also by the political challenge which the opposition parties have put forward before him. Of election, yes, yes, yes. No. Now, Modi ji little bit rattled. So the situation has been changing very fast. Nobody can say what is going to happen. People mood is very much now. It is not like Balakot. Modi, there is no Balakot, no Puloma, no alternationalism. Nothing else. Ram Mandir is well. There is no effect practically. Uh, I mean, uh, out of the, I mean, uh, what may be called cow belt or etc. Even if in the uh, Hindi belt also, 
Ram Mandir issue has lost its steam. That I must say. It has already lost its steam. As was expected by Modi. No. It was expected by him, but I think it is not reflected in the, on the ground. Which was the wrong move? move. That time. No, 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 no. That time it was the need of the hour. That time it was the need of the hour. The CPM party of 2011 is poles opposite of the CPM party that is existing today. Those so-called harmat who were nurtured and uh, I mean nourished by the CPM party as was alleged at that time by the Mamda Banerjee herself has become the damad of the TMC party. Those harmat have been reincarnated as damad of the TMC party. <laughs> Where is the morality of Mamda Banerjee's argument? There is no morality be, but behind Mamda Banerjee's argument now. Uh, so now the CPM party has become harmat pre-CPM party, uh, which could be, I mean, dealt with which could be, I mean, I mean, at least could be taken into confidence for any matter whatsoever. On a catalyst CPM party, now. <coughs> what is your strategy in Bengal in this year, sir? See, first of all, there is a uh, Modi government who is running the country failed miserably in each and every respect. So we are highlighting those issues and people are also acknowledging and accepting our argument. Second thing, I mean, uh, anti-incumbency of TMC government is that it is crescendo. So we are also exploiting that uh, sentiment of the common people. Corruption. Corruption, inefficiency, corruption, corruption, corruption. The party TMC has already been synonymous with corruption. Now, people are also, I mean, alleging against the TMC party for this kind of alleged corruption, which has been ingrained in the body polity of the TMC party. Of Mamta Banerjee and Abhishek Banerjee, whenever they speak, they take only one name that India Alliance broke in Bengal because of Adichu, because of Adichu. What do you have to say about that? See, uh, there is a proverb that devil cites the scripture. The issue is, I have been persistently fighting against the Mamta Banerjee's politics of violence and atrocities against us, which was intended to decimate the Congress party lock, stock and barrel from the soil of West Bengal. Actually, for last couple of years, we have been fighting for our own existence. It is very difficult for us to at least sustain the existence of our party. And in order to survive my part in Bengal, I did not have any alternative but to take up the Kajal second Mamda Banerjee's atrocious regime. My stand is not changed. My stand, a couple of years ago, is totally the same as it is today. So, this kind of argument, which is being raised by Mamata Banerjee and her cohorts, are nothing but lame excuses because she has succumbed 
to the pressure mounted by the BJP regime upon Ahar. She, even if posing herself as a fireman leader of Bengal, has been genuflecting herself at the feet of Narendra Modi only to save her relatives, her nephew from the clutch of ED and CBI. Otherwise, my simple and curtly my, I am asking one question. What had triggered Mamta Banerjee to quit the India block? If Adhish Chaudhary was the trigger, then why she agreed to join the India alliance? Even so, there was no respite from my end to hurl the allegations and acquisition against Mamata Banerjee. There was no respite from my end. I never subdued myself from alleging Mamata Banerjee's government. So my stand is quite clear. It is, I, it is as fixed as today it is. I have been continuing to wage my battle against Mamata Banerjee in fair weather and foul. So that time, why she did not raise this issue that because of Adish Choudhury, I am failing to join your India alliance. That time, she even proudly uttered the word that name India was conceived by her. Khargeji should be the convener, Rahul Gandhiji is my leader, etc., etc. So my simple question and pointed question is, what had triggered the departure of Mamata Banerjee from the India block? The simple question, yes or no? That is nothing but to succumb, but to genuflect before the Modi speed. She capitulated herself. Now, only to save her face, she is resorting the name of Adi Chaudhary. <laughs> because politics cannot be shown of time and space dimension. You have to judge politics from the time and space dimension. Time and space. Which time, when, why? It will be crystal clear for you people which situation has prompted Mamta Banerjee to quit the party. Time and space and the situation. See, the Mamata Banerjee has already earned the notoriety for this kind of lumpenized politics. In my initial remark, I told you that politics has been lumpenized over here during a hard tenure. So this is nothing but a sort of lumpenized politics which we are witnessing. See, because she thought myself as her sworn enemy. But I am feeling very proud of it. Because I think my political career has been promoted by her, this kind of cruelty and atrocity against me. What do you think about bringing somebody called Yusuf Pathan against you? See, that is not my issue. Anybody who is entitled or who is eligible 
to be a voter of my country and who has, I mean, uh, aged 25 years, who he can fight the election from anywhere in the country. I do not care a fig for it. I don't even bother for it. Because my fight against the Mamata Banerjee's and BJP's juggernaut. Three phases of elections have passed. Huh? Three phases of elections have passed. Today was the third phase. How do you see uh, Congress? Because Malda Mushidabad. Congress has been progressing very well. In Bengal as well as in India. Yes, yes, Bengal. I, I am talking about Bengal. Here, Congress and late party is progressing very well. I can say you that surprises are awaiting. You may be rest assured. Surprises are awaiting for you people. And so far as India is concerned, I have already stated that the euphoria, the I mean, popularity, the jingoism, the alternatism, um, I mean, the aura, etc., etc., uh, of Modi has been started filtering away. Or at least diminishing effect has been in practice now. So anything could be happened. Nobody can say what is going to be happened over here. Anything could be happened, that I can say. However, I am not a sifologist, but my gut feeling is Modi ji is not as comfort as he was earlier. That I can say. He is not at all comfort as it was earlier. What about the minority votes of Bengal? Minority vote has been Minority vote has been started switching over to, I mean, uh, uh, secular forces. Congress won Shagurdi. Congress and led parties, both are re regarded as a secular forces. So, minority votes have been started of switching over to the secular forces. However, uh, minority votes usually cast a given the, I mean, winability of the seat. If they think that this could be owned by TMC by defeating BJP, they will put their strategic vote in favor of TMC. I think so. But where the opposition parties in Bengal, especially Congress and the led party, they have any, I mean, uh, prospect of winning the seat, then the entire vote of minority may be switched over to the secular forces. That is my gut feeling. What is Abhijit Chaudhary telling his voter this time? See, my two guarantee that the love and affection that you have displayed to me will always be honored. I would not indulge any acts or any deeds which may humiliate yourself. I would do nothing to draw your cards because I am blessed by you. So these two guarantees. Very simple, very simple. I'm not giving 1,000 rupees, but not... Uh, I am BPLNP. <laughs> not giving... Uh, Loki Bhandar is there. <laughs> now, Mahalaki Bhandar is more... <laughs> more potential than Lokir Bhandar. However, it is not realized. But no, the two guarantees from my end. Two guarantees from my end. I will never betray you and you will not be felt that I am humiliating you. I have been blessed, that will be regarded.